Beneath these beautiful waters lie answers that will impact on the water supply of all future generations. The source of these waters is the underlying aquifer, or geologic formations below the land surface which are saturated with water. For centuries, humans have depended on clean groundwater as a vital natural resource, but with today's growing population and industrialization, the world's aquifers are becoming increasingly contaminated. The alarming rate of groundwater degradation has focused scientific as well as legislative and commercial attention on protecting and remediating our groundwater resources. In this regard, karst development has emerged as one of the least understood yet most important global research frontiers in groundwater hydrology. This project's goal is to construct a better understanding of the karst development process and its relationship to groundwater flow by direct investigations of active underwater karst systems. Karst development results in the dissolution of the original host limestone, creating conduits and caves with permeabilities of 7 to 10 orders of magnitude greater than the original host rock. Common research technologies have relied on indirect methods, such as dye tracing between input and output points, which have proven inadequate for the understanding of karst development. The University of Wyoming's method differs markedly from these techniques in that our research will address flow direction and localization by providing information on the geometries of the karst conduits gathered by direct internal observations within active underwater cave systems. Our research will focus on the Woodville Karst Plain region of North Florida, possibly the largest underwater cave system in the world, and the Taurus Mountain Karst region of southern Turkey. Under the direction of Dr. Peter Huntoon, the UW team consists of his doctoral candidate, Todd Kincaid, and the Woodville Karst Plain Project Research Cave Divers. Working together, we have a capable, well-organized, seasoned and enthusiastic team uniquely situated to conduct this project. We have access to the restricted areas of the Florida Woodville Karst Plain region and have organized valuable contacts in Turkey who are anxious to work with us. The Turkish karst is unexplored and situated in a complex tectonic setting that offers an ideal contrast to the undeformed karst in Florida. The Turkish government hopes to develop groundwater resources for their people and our research will prove to be a valuable assistance. Nearly 100% of the water consumed in Florida is derived from groundwater resources supplied by the Floridan Aquifer, one of the most productive aquifers in the world. In addition to consumptive use, this water supply plays a significant role in Florida's tourist-based economy. Though an invaluable natural resource, the Floridan Aquifer has become threatened in recent years from an expanding population and sprawling industrialization. Our research in the Woodville Karst Plain will help clarify the need for revised water pollution regulations necessary for the protection of Florida's groundwater resources. Wakulla Spring is the major discharge point for the entire Woodville Karst Plain system, where every day nearly 100 million gallons of groundwater are discharged through a cave system large enough to carry a locomotive train. Our diving team is experienced in exploring these giant underground caves and have trained for maximum efficiency as a research group. Physically prepared for the deep exploration necessary to map the groundwater drainage, they are often underwater for nine hours at a time. Using strict scientific methodology, we will collect important water samples, survey data, and video footage. The water samples will be used in water chemistry analyses, which will help to determine the source and age of the groundwater. The survey data will be used to generate accurate maps of the cave systems, which will be correlated with surface topographic maps to delineate underground drainage patterns. The video footage will be used for post-dive analysis of geologic structures and as a valuable education tool for future classes. Questions to be addressed in our research are, do geologic structures such as faults and fractures control karst development, or do conduit structures simply align themselves with the hydraulic gradient? Finding the answer to these questions will greatly expand our understanding of karst development and the potential for karst aquifer pollution. To ensure a clean groundwater supply for future generations, we must begin to address the hydrologic system as a whole both groundwater and surface water, of which karst conduit flow plays a major role. 
For this, we need a better understanding of car systems and the car's development process so that we can delineate sensitive recharge areas and truly preserve our precious groundwater resources. The University of Wyoming proposes a 12-month project, which we hope to begin in May 1995. We are situated to conduct research that includes the exploration, mapping, and sampling of both the Woodville Karst Plain of North Florida, including Wakulla Spring, and the Taurus Mountain Karst region of southern Turkey. All we need now is the funding.